Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we will do some verification and check the results both on uh, HQ and branch 48 firewalls. So let's log in now to this is the branch one and click on later. Something wrong with the browser. I will just close it and open it up again. So 172.16.100.1 and 172.16.200.1 if i log in now to the user interface let's say later remind me later and i will do the same on the branch one so admin login and later and later let's examine now what's um, uh what's different uh, or if anything happened here in the in the vpn in the vpn menu so ipsec tunnels we see that we have a tunnel so going to branch one through port one this is the template that has been used when configuring this side-to-side -side vpn but we see that the status is inactive can you guess why i mean if the configuration is correct I probably we we should see here that uh, the status is up right or something like enabled or I don't know but anyway not inactive but probably active so something um, something else still has to be has to be done in order for the VPN to to work to be functional now remember from the from the previous and the beginning lecture we said that the end goal of the VPN uh, of the side-to-side -side VPN configuration is that we are able to ping from one LAN PC to the other LAN PC as if they were directly connected. And when we configured both the HQ and the branch firewalls, we said that, well, interesting traffic, well, interesting meaning that traffic that has to be encrypted, it's with the source 192.168.1.1 going to 2.0 or the other way around, traffic, uh, traffic coming from 2.0 going to 1.0. And this VPN tunnel, it's on-demand type, meaning that the VPN tunnel will be up, will be active, only when traffic from this PC or from this LAN will be seen by this HQ uh, firewall going to this subnet. So as, as, as of now, we don't have any traffic going between th these two sites, so that's why, and this is the reason, why we're seeing the, the tunnel being as inactive. Now, anyway, if the, if the configuration is correct, we should see that the status should change when we try again to ping, let's say, from this PC going to this PC. So let's try it now. So let's go to VPCS1. So this is VPCS1, and I will try to ping. So let's say ping and say question mark. I want to have multiple packets minus C as the option. So ping minus C, let's say 100 packets to the destination 192.168.2.0. So we will say ping this. And now question mark, and now we have the options. So again, minus C 100. And let's wait. Timeout, timeout timeout actually <laughs> the IP address is not correct so it's not 2.0 but it's 2.1 2.0 is the subnet and here it is so we have connectivity between test PC or LAN PC 1 going to uh, the, the PC on the other side of the network so guess what let's see if the tunnel has changed so I'll just say click on something else and go back to IPsec tunnels and the status is up. So this is the desired this is the desired output you would like to see. So now going in the monitor menu, so we were here. We are in the VPN and IPsec tunnels. When you click on uh, on the tunnel and specifically click on up, it will uh, jump to monitor section and IPsec monitor. So we see that we are on the branch, uh, the branch firewall. We see we have HQ as the name. It is a side to side. The remote IP is this. The status is up. Incoming data, outgoing data. It's good, and we have uh, these specific kilobytes of um, of traffic.
also we would like to look maybe in the login report and if we go into VPN events we should see something here because some some negotiation has happened before uh, before ha before having this um, uh, this VPN up so we can see some failures here failure 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 and now we see a, um, a success so if you click so this is basically for troubleshooting and um, uh, troubleshooting and, and reporting purposes so if something happens you would like to see basically uh, how uh, how everything happened and uh, get get more details double click on any row and you can see here more details so log description progress through ipsec phase one and we have let's say we have we have used this port port number udp uh, 500 and this is the remote ip remote uh, remote port 500 uh, main mode progress let's see log remote role this is something i don't need phase one phase one install ipsec sa so this means that the the ipsec uh, phase one has been successful and then you can see here ipsec phase two status change so let's see what happened from root with this ip address action phase two up so now we have also phase two up which means when you have also phase one and phase two up that traffic can pass uh, can pass in the tunnel and anyway you would have to you have to play with these options a little bit so that you understand more but this is where you go so again login report to see what has happened and what were the steps when the tunnel was negotiated and when you just want to see the status obviously the menu it's monitor and you would go to ipsec monitor and get more details about your uh, your side to side tunnel so this is all with this section uh, thanks a lot in the next section we will do some uh, i would say more advanced configuration we will try to uh, set up a side to side vpn between a fortinet firewall and a cisco asa thanks a lot